our planet faces the challenge of global warming, and it's a big one. In the light of increasing worldwide energy consumption, it is therefore crucial to look for alternatives to fossil resources. One of these alternatives may be the energy of tides, whose regularity makes them an attractive prospect for reliable energy. At multiple sites around the UK, tidal currents are actually fast enough to make them suitable for large arrays of tidal turbines. However, they will only be developed if they show to be economically viable. It is therefore crucial to look for optimal location, number, and individual positioning for turbines. Well, given a certain number of turbines described by the red dots on the slide top row, one could ask, what is the best positioning among three proposed designs? Well, think of the cyclists at the Tour de France that try to stay directly behind each other in order to reduce wind resistance. Well, here, it's the exact opposite situation, since we want the turbines to capture as much of the flow as possible. But the situation is actually more complex. The presence of a turbine does not only alter the flow directly behind it, but all around it, and different turbines act, interact with each other. Therefore, finding the design of a maximum uh, power output for uh, a tidal turbine array is a complex optimization problem. And one way to solve it, which is also part of my research, is doing that iteratively, meaning that we improve the layout gradually, step by step. More precisely, and referring to the loop on the slide, we start with an initial layout, compute how the resulting flow looks, and calculate the produced power. We then compute how the power changes with respect to the current layout, and based on this, choose a better one. You can think of the power as this bell curve on the slide, where we may get a small value for a deployment of a single turbine at a point A, and increase the power by setting it more to the right at point B while following the positive rate of change. The improved layout is then used as initial layout in the loop and the procedure is repeated until the best layout is found. This is actually an abstract mathematical principle. Similarly, one may find the shape of minimal wind resistance for airplane wings or the optimal design for a combustion engine. In a very similar manner, I'm trying to apply abstract approaches from statistics in order to reduce uncertainty in the power supply for tidal energy. Another aspect for making tidal energy one of UK's future energy sources and trying to solve the energy issue in a uh, changing environment. Thank you.